Rolling like the speed of sound. How's it going everybody? Kyle here and today we are on the MEP server by ourselves. <laughs> so lonely. <laughs> but uh yeah, today I want to try to work on filling our cow pen here. Um it's just a hole I dug out, got a couple cows. These guys were actually a big pain to get, not gonna lie, was really annoyed. But uh yeah. Anyway, we're going to try to fill this place up today. And the only way of doing that really is with breeding. Um and I actually have no wheat, so yeah, that's gonna be goal number one is get a wheat supply, probably by making a farm. Um it's not gonna be anything too fancy. Maybe just a big field, kind of like Caleb has it spawn. But uh, yeah, I don't even have seeds, to be completely honest, so I'm going to have to go uh, over to the flower forest biome over here to grab some. And hopefully that won't take too long. And yeah, once we have a good amount of wheat, I just like don't have a food source, so that's really why I want to get this big cow pen going. And can't get a cow pen without wheat, so yeah. Alright, give us a seed. Aha, there's one. There's three. Let's try to get more. Start off with quite a few. Alright, that's fine, I think, actually. Because I can just bone meal and get more. No problem. For those of you guys that were wondering, like, my base to... Like, what's the word? If you guys want to get oriented with what's around my base and what way my base is facing and all that stuff... This is my back door here, the flower forest is behind it. Stuff like that. So yeah, alright. Um let's find a place to build this. Uh maybe just like on the island here might not be a bad idea. I think I might just end up doing that. Flattening this all and everything like that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Alright, so I'll get some dirt ready to begin the plantation and we will be back. I should really get around to cutting down this tree sometime. Oh well, that's for another episode. I don't know, I'll, that's not going to be in an episode, I'll totally put that off camera. But uh, yeah, I got... <laughs> I don't have much dirt either. Like, every resource I have pretty much is attainable from not being in a forest other than wood, but I can just grow my own wood here. So yeah, I don't have many resources like dirt or anything, especially because I don't go mining too often. I'm actually like out of diamonds now, so... I yeah, still need to go mining. I haven't since last episode. I know I said I would, especially because I need iron for the beacon, but yeah. All right, let's just get a little bit of an area going here. All right, yeah, I'm not going to make it like automated or anything, um, for right now anyway. I might in the future, but as of right now, I'm just going to make it a simple, easy to collect, replant, wheat farm thing. It's not going to be automatic of any way. All right, dirt time. I forgot I'm going to need to put water. I don't know why I forgot you need water to grow plants, but I did. Just get a grass or a dirt patch going first, though. Alright. That's good enough. I don't think I need it much bigger. I might make it bigger over time, but for now it's good. Um, dang it, I frick. I need a hoe. I need a water bucket. I never farm in this game. I thought that's good was on land for a second. Can't reach him. Um, yeah, I never usually farm in this game. Uh, usually I just manage to get steak somehow. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm not big on farming, so I'm kind of forgetful about everything you need. Alright, so uh, I have finished up the cow pen. I just need to add in the stone brick walls that I decided I'm going to do. And uh, let's do that together, actually. I'm going to need to smelt some more cobble, though. But uh, yeah, I got the ground finished, and I've been breeding them pretty frequently. Uh, it is a few days later uh, since the last recording that you guys just saw. And sorry, it kind of just cut without me giving... An explanation, I, somebody walked in the room and I had to talk to them, so that's that. And I just haven't gotten the chance to get on and record the past couple days. But uh, yeah, now I'm on. So as you can see, we actually have a few cows in here. 
and uh, we got grass growing. I'm going to put glowstone in certain corners and everything like that, but first things first, I'm going to add stone brick walls to the place. Give it a little TLC. I never actually knew what TLC stood for until like <laughs> yesterday, I think I asked my mom or something, and she explained. I'm pretty sure it's like tender love and care. I think that's what it is. Maybe mom's wrong, but let me know if you thought it meant something different, because I didn't know that's what it meant. Unless I'm wrong, then this is just awkward, but yeah. So uh, let's talk about some stuff while I do this. I'm not going to have enough stone brick, so I'm actually going to have to go get some more. But uh, with the stuff that we have, might as well dig this out. Um, I want to talk about, one, my channel, um, two, where my channel is headed, it's kind of in the same category, and uh, three, summer, because I have a couple days left in school. I know all of you Americans have already been out of school for quite a while, at least in most places. Um, but yeah, my school is over on Tuesday, and then I just have an exam to write, and I am free for all of the summer. And uh, Wednesday, or... Is it one? Yeah. So Thursday I have to write my social studies final, which is called history class in some places. It's the same thing. Um, and then Wednesday, so the day before that, I actually go to get my driver's license. I have to go take a driver's test. Unless I fail, of course, but I don't see that happening because I've driven with some of my friends who have theirs. And whenever I see them, I'm kind of like, really, bruh? You're this bad and you passed? <laughs> no offense if you guys are watching. Sorry. No, they're not watching this. My friends don't watch my videos. I don't think. Well, I mean, my real life friends. Some of you guys are. You guys are all my friends. I babble a lot. Okay, this is awkward. All right, so I'm gonna have to go get some more stone brick. Um, yeah, and when I get back from doing that, I will talk about my channel a bit more. And uh, yeah, this is a bit more of a talky episode. Sorry if you're not into this type of stuff, but if you are, well, this is the video for you. Alright, so I got about an another stack of stone brick. I hope it's enough. If it's not, I still have more smelting. But uh, yeah, back onto the topic of my YouTube channel. So a bit after this video goes up, maybe it's the next day, I'm going to be doing another uh, MCPVP kit giveaway on my channel. So if you guys are into that, feel free to enter. Um, just watch that video. It'll explain how you can win and everything like that. Uh, so yes, I will be doing another giveaway soon. Um, along with just more videos in general. I mean, I know I always, always, always... Okay, this was not nearly enough stone brick. Um, I always, always promise you guys I'm always going to be bringing more videos out. I think every video I probably have said that now. But this time I really just want to stay dedicated to uploading videos. Music can stop. Um, I really want to start uploading frequent videos. I know for a while out there I uploaded almost daily. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, then it kind of stops, mainly because it's the end of school and I'm just really working hard to keep my mark up there. Um, but yeah, soon enough, in a few days, uh, I will be free and I will be all of your, all of your, all yours. <laughs> That's the right way to say it, Kyle, good job. Yeah, I'll be all your guys's and uh, I will try to focus all my attention on YouTube because I really want this to be my priority over a lot of things and I hope I can make it my priority. My dog's making noise in the background, sorry if you can hear that. Um, yeah, so, did I just hit a cow? Yeah, I definitely want to make YouTube more of a priority. Um, I want to, I think a good goal is 1k subs by the end of the summer. Um, 1k's always kind of been like my my life YouTube goal. I know you guys might be thinking like that's not that big or 1,000 by the end of the summer is a crazy goal. Um, personally, I think it's realistic. And um, for you guys, hopefully, you guys support me along the way and think it's pretty realistic too because I don't think 1,000 is that hard. We're almost halfway there already. So uh, yeah, especially in the summer, I'm going to be posting a lot more. Hopefully, my videos start getting a bit more attention. I just need to put the work in. And I keep going the wrong way over and over. My dog won't shut up. Um, yeah, I just need to put more effort into my videos, I feel, and I should be good to go. Um, yeah, hold on. Okay, I'm going to kick my dog in my room, bloody retard. I'll be right back.
Okay, he's gone. Sorry, if you guys heard him. You guys probably didn't because this mic doesn't seem to catch too much background noise. But if you did, I apologize. Um, yeah, so, and then there's the other side. You guys might think it's a bit crazy. But then there are some people who are saying, like, only a thousand subs? That's That's been your big goal? I know a lot of people out there are like, my main goal is a million subscribers. And I, a thousand for me is a million to other people, in my opinion. A thousand is like that number where it would just make me so happy to reach that and I would never need it. I, I know I say I would never need another subscriber after I reach that thousand goal but I would probably end up getting there and of obviously I would be wanting more because who doesn't always just I mean the higher the better and that's just the plain truth if you guys are calling me like a subscription whore whatever the term is it's not that but it's something like that um, just step inside my shoes and think to yourself would I want a thousand subscribers or would I want a million subscribers and obviously everybody would pick a million but to me a thousand would be a good number just to sit at comfortably and that would make me so happy to get to that number um, yeah so a thousand for me uh, is the main goal and I hope I can attain it and I hope it seems realistic to you guys because you guys are the people that are supporting me can I breed them? yes I can yeah, so now the grass is almost fully spread. Did I miss anyone? Alright, I think I'm good. Um, yeah, so I just got glowstone in the corners. I don't think I can put it anywhere else because this isn't very symmetrical. So that might be it, but I'll find some other areas, obviously. Otherwise, mobs will be spawning like crazy. But uh, yeah, here's the cow pen. I will be breeding them, and hopefully they're wall-to-wall -wall banging each other. I'm, uh, I, that's that's not what I meant. I meant they'd be... They'd be banging one un into each other and on the wall. You guys get what I mean. Probably not. But anyway, let's move on from this project because we've spent way too long on building a simple cow pit. Um, yeah. So I'm going to find something else to do and we will go do that. Alright guys, so I think I found something we can do for today. I want to expand my cave down in this area. I'm not quite sure what I want to build down here yet but we can get the basics started for it and maybe make a staircase or whatever we want to do. This is definitely the most developed area of my base though for sure. I really like the way it looks and eventually we're going to put something down here. Um, oh yeah, and I don't think I've showed you guys this and I don't know if I'll actually be able to find it or not, but in this area somewhere there is a big slime chunk. Oh, there's a lot of iron here. What am I doing, Kyle? You're crazy. I need, oh yeah, I almost have enough iron for my beacon too, by the way. I am not sure what I'm going to put on it. Probably haste or speed. Um, but, oh yeah, I think I made a path with this glowstone, did I? I don't know. But around here, okay, i got to actually get to my point at some point. The point at some, that's, that's a real phrase. Yeah, so uh, I think it's down here. There is, yes, you hear that? So now, I don't know if it's just me, but this seems like a like a giant slime chunk because I come down here every 10 minutes and there's always at least like a few slimes in the area and there's always a big one too and I definitely want to try to make a slime farm out of it I'm not sure what design I'm gonna go with but I want to make a slime farm really bad because I don't know with the new slime blocks coming out I just can't wait and I'm gonna need a lot of uh, slime slime balls obviously so yeah, making a slime farm would really be awesome for me. Slime chunk around here, yeah. So I think it's like right in this area, which is awesome because it's kind of already dug out. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can make a really awesome slime farm with that eventually. But that is for a different day because I don't have a design or anything picked out for it. Uh, but yeah, let's head back to my base. And I'll probably just follow the same... Where am I? I know where I am. I'll probably just follow the same building pattern as I have been doing with the rest of my base, like the stone brick, red, and quartz for this. Get out of here. Wow, that aim. See, this is why I'm playing vanilla Minecraft, not MCPVP right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get some materials ready. What am I going to need? Red stained clay. Do I have any regular hardened clay? Yeah, we can dye this. If I have any, I don't think I do actually. That's going to be a problem. We do have stone brick. Do we have any quartz? Wow, okay. I have enough for a staircase at least. 
All right, well, I'm going to need to get some red dye, because I am all out, it looks like. All right, I'll see you in a minute. I realize I can actually do the staircase without red clay, because it's just the quartz and the stone brick, so that's not bad. Um, I want to make it symmetrical, so I think if I... One, two, three. I think that works good. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, I'm going to need to dig this out. Yeah, like that. And then this is going to have to be stone brick on the side here. This pick is going to break really soon. It's a crummy pick, so I'm not going to bother repairing it. But I'll have to go grab another one. And I don't actually have any other good work picks, so I might have to use a looting pick. Like, like I just use looting picks to dig stuff because I have so many of them. <laughs> That's not me bragging. I just I get too many looting picks. Like, does anyone want a looting pick? I'll trade you for like an unbreaking three efficiency five. If anyone wants a looting three pickaxe. Okay, dog, you're going to move. Follow me. This is going to be your sitting corner, okay? Okay, he's happy there, I think. Probably not. But, oh well. Dogs don't need to be happy. Just kidding. Yes, they do. I love dogs. Don't, don't hate. Um, so I'm going to need to put a wall here. Probably the same thing as this. Um, and here is the staircase. It seems very steep to me. This one's a lot shorter, so it's kind of awkward, but... Oh well. Um, we're going to make another overpass type thing, like that. Comes down right here. And then we're going to have the wall, just like this, but I don't have either of these materials at the moment. I'm going to have to dig out some stuff. Pick's going to break in any second, I think. I'm just guessing here, but I would assume. Maybe not. Oh, well. Okay, so there's the staircase area. I'm going to have to put a wall here, too, and everything like that. I don't think there's actually much in these chests. There's some clay. Oh, there it is. There it goes. <laughs> I'm going to actually move these chests um, and the hardened clay either to my store, which I still don't think anyone's shopped at, or just my hardened clay chest. Um, I feel like the reason why no one's sh shopping at my hardened clay store, I mean, I'm not upset about it or anything, I just feel like the reason is probably because it's so easy to get clay on our server. We have a haste beacon at an area set up in the mesa a while, a bit away from my base here, so instead of just spending diamonds, they could just take five minutes out of their day and go get some themselves. So I might actually switch the theme of the shop but if you guys have any ideas for a shop theme, let me know, because I actually don't know what to make it. So my inventory gets filled really fast. Um, that's why I like having a really clean inventory. Yeah, so if you guys have any ideas for a shop, uh, let me know. It could be anything. Don't be afraid to recommend something, because all recommendations are welcome. All right, um, there's one more chest down here, I think. going to break it and move it. Do, do, do. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to put down here. I know I've always wanted a mob system uh, by my base, but I think I'm going to make one in the air because those seem to be the most efficient right now. Then again, I might wait till the new update comes because I don't want it to be broken as soon as I make it. So, yes, um, I don't need any more quartz as of this minute. Um, so, yeah, down here could do a mob system, but then again, I don't really want to do one underground. Um, I already have a storage room, already have a furnace room, already have an enchanting room. Oh yeah, I could do a brewing setup in this area, but I want this to expand off into many directions, not just one room. Kind of like it does over here, where it goes two rooms and then a hallway that'll lead to more rooms. Um, that's kind of what I'm going for down here, and I know I definitely want a brewing room down here, so there's something to check off my list, and probably a bedroom too, actually. That'd be a good idea. Um, actually, maybe I could do a bedroom down here. One of the two. I'll either put a bedroom down in that cave, or I'll just dig one out here. Um, but yeah, that's not going to happen until I get more quartz and hardened clay. So uh, yeah, it looks like this is about all we're getting done in this section for today, unfortunately. Wish I could have done more, but I don't have time to get a bunch of red dye and quartz because it takes me quite a while. Um, so yeah, we're going to find something else to do and I'll be back again. This video is kind of scrambled, I know, but 
I don't quite have a plan when I start recording these MP videos, um, and usually when I do it doesn't last very long, so yeah, we'll find something to do, I'm sure. Yes, I don't think I've shown you guys this chest very much, um, but yeah, see here, Fortune 3, Fortune 3, Fortune 3, Fortune 2, there's a silk touch, but it's also broken. Fortune 3. Yeah, and then there's a silk touch here, and silk touch there. And then there's a Fortune 2 shovel here. This is a Fortune 3. This is like the best shovel you can get. Um, Fortune 3 on that. Fortune 2 on this. Fortune 3 on this. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have a lot of Fortune stuff. And Fortune 3 on that. So I could set up a enchantment shop maybe because I have so many fortune picks that I just don't need. Um, maybe I could set up like an enchantment exchange, kind of like on the old Mindcrack server where people could take the picks that I have too many of, like these fortune threes, and maybe trade me some good work picks like efficiency four or five, and then I'm breaking three on them. I think that might be a cool idea actually. So. Uh, yeah, too many fortune picks. Arr, I know it's something not many people would complain about, but I'm not a fan. And I'm actually going to switch out this armor for this stuff. I got four thorns on this, so it's not bad. And I'm breaking. But uh, I just don't like using my good armor when I don't need to, because it's just kind of a waste. And there's my wither bane, of course. Um, even though we did end up dying to the wither, but that was my retarded fault. <laughs> Let's combine a bunch of these bows because they're taking up way too much space. Here's a tip for you. Bam, bam, new bow, bam, 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 and then do bang, bang. Alright, so we have two basically brand new bows from that. That's just from killing skeletons. They drop their bows every now and then. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that quickly, how much fortune stuff I have. So if anyone on the server is wanting to trade me uh, a good work pick, or maybe a silk touch pick for a fortune pick, uh, just let me know, because I have too many, and I don't have enough good work picks, and I don't have enough diamonds to go make a bunch. So, uh, yeah, this is like the only way I can get stuff on the server is by buying it off of other people, because... I'm too lazy to collect resources unless it's like quartz or hardened clay because it's so close to me. Um, but yeah, I still have some carrots left from Christmas. Golden carrots, that is. I've just been eating this cooked chicken that I keep taking from the Enderman farm. Um, but yeah, see, as you can see, I think you need two and a half stacks of iron blocks to make a full-size beacon. So I'm definitely going to have to go do some more caving just a little bit, maybe an hour or two, get some more iron, and I should be able to make a beacon. And that'll probably help me dig out the slime farm area, because uh, I will have haste on the beacon, most likely. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. So that wraps up this episode, everyone. If you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, and I will talk to you guys all in the next video. See you guys later.